Well, good morning. Welcome to another Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. I was walking across the church parking lot. It's about 7.30 in the evening here, the night before you're going to be greeted with a good morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. You know, I always do this the evening before so that I can get it all uploaded on YouTube and have it ready to post on Facebook in the early morning hours. And uh, so, you know, I was walking across the parking lot of the church here, coming over from the house that we've been working on, trying to get ready for its new occupant. If you watched us yesterday, why, well, you know that uh, we were talking about getting the house all cleaned up and ready for a new occupant. And I was walking across and I thought, well, my feet hurt a little bit. I'm just a little bit weary this evening. My day started with a paint roller and a brush in my hand at 7.30. And I tell you, as I was thinking about my blessings, I thought it's Thanksgiving month, and uh, you know, we shouldn't really need a national holiday to remind us to count our blessings. Songwriter said, count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. And another part of that says, it will surprise you what the Lord has done. So, you know, we sometimes as humans, we kind of let the burdens uh, become so heavy that they kind of obscure the blessings that are ours and we've got to be careful about that because we do carry some burdens in life and sometimes you know our needs are many and and uh, we we just kind of get all bogged down with the cares of life but I want to encourage you to count your blessings today as I've tried to do. I preach Sunday that we need a new awareness of blessing and Realize just how blessed we are today. And I was thinking, well, one of the greatest blessings that I have, and my blessings are manifold, blessings of family, the blessing of friendship, uh, the blessings of a nice home and a good bed to pillow my head at night. And, and even though the old car's got 180-some thousand miles, it's, uh, it's a blessing. It gets me, as the saying goes, from point A to point B. And... And I'm blessed with a nice car to drive. And I could just go on and on and on about my blessings. And even though we just faced a national election where some people are a little disappointed in the outcome of that, I still feel blessed to be an American. And so, you know, our blessings are many, but just want to share what was really weighing on my mind as one of my greatest blessings. And that is that I have something to do. I believe that man is happiest when he is productive. I believe that we achieve the most fulfillment and satisfaction in life through the work that we do. And I've known a lot of people that never really seem to find too much to do in life. Down in Alabama, I was a substitute rural mail carrier and I'd drive down through the rural areas of, of Alabama and go down through the cotton fields to the little shanties out there and oftentimes you'd see people just sitting on the porch and I suppose that's exactly how they spend every day of their life just sitting there on the porch and uh, you know I can't imagine a life like that. I have something to do. I'm glad that God has counted me worthy to give me something to do. I was always told all the years of my life growing up and even into young adulthood, a lot of people still believe uh, that I'll never amount to a hill of beans. I was told that so much. You'll never amount to a hill of beans and uh, you can't do anything. But, you know, God doesn't see me that way. And God has entrusted me with the work to do. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful that I have a work to do and I'm so thankful that I have the strength and the health with which to do it. You know, a lot of people younger than I are not blessed with the strength and the stamina and the health that I have. And one of my greatest blessings is that I have the strength to do what I have to do. And I just think that's a great blessing. And, you know, you may think, well, I'm just kind of tired of working and I'm tired of this and I'm tired of that. But we need to count our blessings today. And if you have something that that brings you fulfillment and satisfaction at the end of the day. You have a job that God has entrusted you with or a job that, uh, that, that has responsibility. Uh, you're probably one of the happiest people in the world. You may not have as much as some, but 
we are blessed with something to do and we are blessed with the strength and the faculties to do it. So I just want to talk about the blessings that I have everywhere I go and tell people how thankful I am for the blessings that God has given to me. Well, Thanksgiving is coming up. Let's just kind of make this whole month the month of Thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, we have so many blessings today, so much to thank you for. Oh God, we pray that that will help us to be truly grateful for the blessings of God. Make us grateful for the blessing of something constructive and beneficial to do. Make us thankful for the strength that we have to do what thou hast given us to do. We have so much to be thankful for, and from our heart we give thee thanks today. Now we ask that you'll go with us throughout this day. Keep us true and faithful. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share a few scattered remarks from a tired body and a tired mind. But you know the Bible says the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. And I hope I get a good sweet sleep tonight. Goodbye now.